Yo, I'm, I'm late. I'm super late, but you guys knew that I was going to be excited about this, right? You guys knew that I was going to have to do a video on this, right? You guys knew this. It is your boy, SHSL Blaze, coming at you guys with yet another video. Videos just feel like an event for me. Like, <laughs> it's so, like, rare to see on my channel nowadays that, like, this is, like, a special event. Like, <laughs> anytime you see a video uploaded here, it's a surprise. Literally, like, <laughs> like, this is a Christmas present. It's so close to Christmas that basically this is a Christmas present for me to be giving you guys a traditional video. But it feels good to be back on the mic. Not gonna lie, I like doing this every once in a while. So <laughs> let's talk about the news, the Danganronpa news that was just released to us a couple days ago. Um, there's already been a couple Danganronpa tubers that have already done videos covering the news on it. Weeby News, Weeby News. Uh, and Omega Volwins. So you guys can go watch their videos if you need to. Um, I'm not going to be talking about the article too much. There's a really good article on the interview with Kodaka uh, that he had with Famitsu. So I'm just going to be co I'm just going to be giving you guys my opinions. Basically, that that's about it. OK, I just want to show you guys how excited I am for a possible new Danganronpa game. So I know there's been a couple skeptics out there. OK, I know I've seen y'all. Y'all have been in my comment sections a couple of times, especially when I did a video about this earlier in the year, because I did a, a video on this, I think right before the 10th anniversary stuff started to happen. I know there was a lot of people saying, oh, there's not going to be no new Danganronpa game. The, the series is dead, yada, yada, yada. And I'm not going to lie. I was getting a little disappointed myself, especially when we were nearing towards the end of the uh, 10th anniversary. You know, we were getting closer to the end of the year and I'm like, whoa, we really aren't getting no game, are we? <laughs> I was getting a little disappointed, but I'm glad that Kodaka did this interview and he said what he said in this interview because it's got my hope back up. It brought my spirits back up and I'm very excited to uh, talk about this today. So let's go ahead and pull out some of the quotes that he said in his interview. So one of the things Kodaka said was, I bragged that Danganronpa V3 was my best masterpiece because I intended to end it neatly. It will be difficult to create a new game that exceeds it. And he's right. Uh, V3 was really good. I liked V3. Um, I had a couple issues with the game uh, personally. Um, one was the dialogue. I thought the dialogue kind of like, you know, it was just it was just a little bit too repetitive for me. And I was getting a little sick of that. And, you know, I, I had no problems with the ending. I had no problems with the ending at all. I know that it's one of the biggest gripes about Danganronpa V3 is everybody says that the ending is horrible. Why would you end a game like this? Why would you end a trilogy like this? It Come on, y'all. It wasn't that bad. It was not that bad. I actually enjoyed the ending. And I knew that he was going to make another game after that because he ended it so openly where it's like, oh, this is definitely going to give us a new sequel or even maybe even a new trilogy. That'd be crazy. Plus, there's there's so many things that they could have done around V3 as in side games and such. So there's just so much backstory that they could have done for that game. There's just a lot of content for V3 in particular. All right. So yeah, I, I do agree with him. I think Danganronpa V3, I wouldn't say it was a masterpiece, but I, I would say it was a really good Danganronpa game. Hands down. The next thing that Kodaka says is, the voices that desire a sequel have gotten stronger. As long as the environment between myself and Spike Chunsoft has been set up, the probability is not zero. Now this is exciting because he's right. The fan base has exploded recently. Um, I'm, I'm surprised at how much it's exploded and on top of it exploding, we've been getting fan gans. So people have been making fan games of Danganronpa. If you haven't seen the fan games, hit that subscribe button and check out my, my channel. I've been playing a ton of fan games here, um, that are based off of Danganronpa. If you guys want to check those out, they're really good. It's just teams of people coming up with different visions of Danganronpa and it is, it is spectacular. It is spectacular. The fan base has been exploding. And on top of that, big YouTubers, big YouTubers. We're talking like Berlizzi. We're talking about Jay from the Cub Scouts. We're talking Biju Mike, who was played Danganronpa 2, I think. A lot of big content creators have been doing Let's Plays of Danganronpa recently and have been streaming it on Twitch too. So a lot of people are getting into the series. And it sucks because at the time, we all thought the series was kind of dead. And it would have sucked. If the if the series really was dead because it's exploding the fan base over here in america is exploding people want more danganronpa and it's crazy it's crazy to think that you know 
at v3 was what three years ago and here we are three years later and now the fan base is exploding again because i thought once v3 happened that was the biggest explosion of the fan base we were ever going to have because v3 ex it exploded because we just had danganronpa 3 the anime before that and the hype for that anime was crazy and then we had v3 and then v3 kind of came and gone and after that it was just kind of dead you know nothing was really happening and then danganronpa rebirth had come out i remember the fan game for that was out or the fan series video series and a lot of people were getting excited about that but it was a really like cult thing and then kill cure and then shattered hope it just goes on and on and on so i'm very excited about that and yeah i agree i agree kodaka the voices that desire a sequel have gotten a lot stronger <laughs> the next thing he says is i cannot thoughtlessly say which creator i'd like to leave the project to if you have seen my video way back in the day after v3 came and went i was talking about this uh back then because kodaka has said that he wanted to leave the series to a different creator and i was saying to myself uchikoshi 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 like <laughs> uchikoshi would be amazing it would be amazing to see uchikoshi so that leads into the next quote okay are y'all ready for this the next thing he says is kotaro uchikoshi may also be a good candidate but I cannot bring myself to have negative opinions. So it may be better for me to create it myself. And then he laughed after that. Man, that makes me a little disappointed because I know they're really good friends, they're drinking buddies and such. And like, they've been working over there at Tokyo Games. And I would love to see Uchikoshi like kind of put his spin on the series. You know, I know I know he can do some great stuff, dude. I know he can. Zero Escape was phenomenal. I the Somnium Files. Have you guys played it? Have you not played I the Somnium Files? Go play I the Somnium Files. I can't tell you how many times I can recommend that to people. Play I the Somnium Files. It is perfection. Ladies and gentlemen, it was my game of the year last year. Definitely. It was the best game I played last year. Hands down. I loved I the Somnium Files. So I would have loved to see Uchikoshi spin on it. But I understand where Kodaka's coming from, you know. It would kind of suck if he handed it over to Uchikoshi and then Uchikoshi kind of did his own thing. And then the fans kind of were like, hey, this isn't Danganronpa. What the heck is this? What are you giving us? I don't like this. You know, it, it'd feel really bad as a creator to see your project go to someone else. And then next thing you know it, you know, that person puts their spin on it. And then, you know, they get negative feedback for it. And it's just like, oof, you know, I handed my, I handed my, my friend, my baby, and you know now people don't like how how he handles my baby it, it just it would suck it would suck i feel you kodaka i understand and the last thing he said was we will soon be able to reveal the thing that i have been working on with spike chunsoft that is very exciting very 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 exciting i want to see it what is it <laughs> udg2 <laughs> no I'm, I'm playing i know i love udg i'm sorry i'm just like a big udg fanboy um, that is my favorite game in the entire trilogy of Danganronpa. Dude, come on. Come on, dog. UDG is... <laughs> okay, the game sucks. The game sucks, all right? But the story and the character development and everything around it is just beautiful. It's beautiful. If you haven't played Ultra Despair Girls, play Ultra Despair Girls. It is my favorite game. And think of me when you play that game. So I want to see what this big reveal is that he wants to show off. Uh, apparently, uh, with Spike Chunsoft, he's been working on something. So he kind of confirmed that they've been cooking something up. So what are y'all cooking up? You know, after Akadama Drive has been doing so well, a lot of people have been getting really hyped about that anime. Now you're going to release Danganronpa? You're going to release a new Danganronpa game on top of that? That's wild. I'm very excited to see what the heck is going to happen in the future. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on it. UDG2? <laughs> I keep saying that. So as you guys do know, the Danganronpa 10th anniversary was this year. It came and went. This year is about to end pretty soon. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you to all of you guys in the fan base of Danganronpa. Everybody that's in the fan base. You guys have been amazing to me. Um, I haven't had any problems really with the fan base. I haven't had any beefs with anybody. And everybody has been pretty nice to me. And I'm nice too. So hopefully they're nice to me, right? So yeah. It, the, this fan base has been amazing and it's been an amazing journey to be able to play all of the games for you guys and even do things as in cover the Danganronpa 3 anime reactions and I also covered a lot of news for Danganronpa V3 and you know we had those V3 streams here on the YouTube channel and those did phenomenal um 
it has been a great great time you know doing videos for this series and hopefully i can still do more videos in the future you know i'll stick around as long as the series sticks around you know and shouts out to all the fan gans out there you guys have been you know hyping it up honestly you really have you have been giving people hope you have been hyping it up and even though we might be getting a new game pretty soon i will still be watching fan gans so if you have a fan gan coming out please still release that junk i need it i need it <laughs> i need it i still need it because i love seeing the visions of the fans themselves and it's been a good time you know i've covered so many fan games here and they've all been so fun dude so fun so yeah thank you guys thank you so much thank you for watching this video hopefully you guys are excited for all of this news drop your theories on what you guys think that next game will be is it going to be a full title is it going to be a, a prequel to v3 is it going to be what is it going to be I'm curious. With that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I don't do this very often. <laughs> Have an amazing day, y'all. Deuces. Hope will never die.